Turning you now to the coronavirus here in Connecticut. COVID-19 testing sites across the state are hectic, as you can imagine this morning. People are trying to get a little bit of peace of mind before they gather with their loved ones for Christmas. But so many are having no luck getting a test. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo is live now in Vernon from a testing site. So Audrey, if people are going out to try and get a test at this point, what can they expect? Nicole, people are having a bit of difficulty. Now, the sign here says no appointment needed. And, of course, this parking lot has been pretty much full the entire morning. But people are telling us that if they didn't have a prior appointment, it's actually tough to get a test. Now, there's more than 400 testing sites in the state of Connecticut. Many of them do require an appointment. And we did a quick check of the state's test finder website, and we found many of those open slots are disappearing quickly. One gentleman we spoke with said that this urgent care location here in Vernon was his second try to get a walk-in test, and so far, no luck. This is my second place I've gone to in person. I've been on the CVS websites. I've been on Walgreens website. I've been on every website that I can find, and I can't find any place to do anything prior to Christmas, which makes me wonder what all this planning we're doing is for. Now, if you were able to find a lab test, it could take longer than usual to get the results because of the increased demand. On the 23rd of last month, around 16,000 new tests were recorded that day by the state. Yesterday, the number was more than 37,000, which is almost two and a half times higher. Now, the state positivity rate is just under 9%, and we're expecting an update to those numbers later this afternoon. Live in Vernon, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.